Hi everyone. Today in this lab session, I will do the lab regarding network security and in this lab, I will do the lab PGP. Okay. For this, we need the some lab manual instruction. Okay. So I have opened it and I will do in the Linux Ubuntu. Okay, so for this first, uh, I want to something explain that the we will I will do the PGP or you can say GPG software. So there is a uh, two software, uh, PGP I means pretty good privacy and GPG GNU privacy guard. Both are the same, but uh, uh, what is the main difference is the meaning is the difference and one is for public domain this is the actually this is the company you can say private pgp and gpg is a open source so we are using this thing okay in this lab i will use gpg actually this is the for public purpose and almost both are the same so don't confuse and uh, these are used for the you can say for uh, email security so this is the main difference basic difference now i want to start the lab so these are the steps the for the lab where we will follow to implement this okay so first uh, to start this our uh, lab to implement uh, in gpg or you can say gpg first uh, we have to encrypt and decrypt what actually i am going to do here encrypt and decrypt the file on the local host because uh, i have the thunderbird we can use the public key and private key for thunderbird to send email <coughs> security but uh, what is the i have the thunderbird it is not compatible over the uh, the extension which is provide the security so in this lab only i will do I will create the public key and private key and through this we will encrypt and decrypt the file so let's start the lab now first I will open the terminal okay to so open the terminal okay the so first steps I will do sudo apt-get install okay uh, this is the command sudo apt-get install update sorry so when we are installing any software or anything in the event to generally we will run from this we will get all information package or you can see required we will can we can update through this so here each update is going on okay what is the required information to installation okay internet may be slow due to this it is taking time now this command has been finished now i'm going to for another command this command to install gpg okay because it is open source gpg uh, i will do through the gpg the rest i have copy now i have to paste here okay just after this press enter okay already i have installed that uh, this gpg that's why here is telling it is done no upgrade is after this i am going to run to generate the key okay the same command i will paste here okay now we have to write the name so we can write any name real name so i will write uh, any name here <coughs> just here i am writing uh, the name is uh, cnet okay uh, here is telling minimum we need the uh, five character so i write the uh, more than five character we have to write so i can write here network 
by right, actually I want to write network already I have created with the name of network by writing here network code okay and email address here I am using in the local so same thing you can write here network point gmail dot com okay uh, this actually I am doing on the this is the not actual uh, the email ID but uh, I am doing that in the local host so you can write any email ID okay now here they are telling you want to change email are you okay so I want to tell okay so just write O after this enter okay now here we need the password okay so you have to write the password and which you can uh, remember it don't put any password after 2-3 minutes uh, you can forget so simply I am writing 1 to 9 and again same password you have to write ok now we have created the key ok now after this what are the steps we have to export the public key we have to copy this command after this you have to paste and here what I have provided the name just right here here write network 1 you can up to your choice you can change the name but you have to follow the same name throughout the lab ok we have done this command this is the export of public key after this we have to go for the step 4 this for the export the private key so I am copying the same command ok after this we have to paste it again here we, I have to change network 1 then press enter here he is asking the key password what I provided the password 1 to 9 we have to enter here okay now we will go ahead now we have to import the public key copy again here paste so this is the import this is the public key actually for this okay now after this we have to import the private key for this we have to run this command and after this press enter this is the key for private now here I want to check how many public key we have So just enter this to so this already I have the key and I have created for the network one so this is the public key for network okay network one gmail okay. what actually we have and you can see here the date today is date 21 28 and 1 22 and expiry date uh, 28 1 24 okay so you can see this is the valid for two years okay <coughs> Now I am moving another step. After this, I want to check the list of the private key. So after this, you can copy and paste this command, and you can see this private key. Sorry. This is the secret key. Okay, this is also for this. Okay now after this I want to encrypt your data okay <clears throat> so before sending a encrypt your file we have to create the file okay so how we can create just use nano command nano okay and we can put any name net uh, net or you can put uh, any name net maybe I have created nano one here I am put file name net123.txt pen 
and after this I write any information okay suppose I have write crypto graphy and network security okay now after writing this message in the nano file I have to save it regarding the save it I want to exit then press Y okay he is asking save modifier just write Y then enter now we have come in the command prompt okay now go again in the lab manual and uh, copy this command to encrypt the your file or you can say data so here we are I am copying here then copy then paste on the terminal and <clears throat> what is the name of file or sender name so we have mentioned network one so here you have to write network one we are I am doing on the local host so same thing I am mentioning here network one and delete other information and here you have to write the file name the file name net one two three dot txt okay then after this press enter now the our file is encrypted using gpg then go in the folder and check this then file name is net123 now i am opening this net123 this gpg see this is the encrypted form <coughs> now close this then again i am going to in the command prompt and taking this copying this copy to decrypt this file okay go here and check this and write the same name of the with uh, extension of gpg net123 okay or dot dot txt then press enter now he is asking the password so what i have given the password in the beginning 129 then we have to write again 129 okay then this is the information what i have written in the file nano cryptography and network security then <coughs> it is showing now we have done this lab how we can file encrypt using gpg and same idea we can use in the uh, email okay through the extension of in gmail or uh, you can say through the thunderbird we can add an extension uh, in any email like this okay but what i have the thunderbird it is not compatible the uh, available this due to this i am not showing here so now i have finished this lab for this uh, you have to follow this lab manual i am to summarize this and you can do this okay i hope that you you people have understand this lab Thank you for watching my this video lecture.